Did you know that you can replace your laptop with virtual reality? Yeah, it's pretty crazy because before in order to work in VR, you would actually need to connect your PC or your computer slash laptop to your headset. But now with the higher processor on the Quest 3, but also a new app that just came out, you can completely replace your computer and work entirely in VR, which is crazy because if you're anything like me you're probably easily distracted by your phone or things around your desk that for some reason while you're working you need to fix immediately so i'm going to show you how to get into deep focus using vr for work and ultimately boosting your productivity I'll also show you some tips and tricks that I've learned along the way using this app, which I'll show towards the end of this video. So the app is called Fluid and it's available on MetaQuest 2, 3, and on Quest Pro. There are some limitations when using the Quest 2 because it's on an older processor, but I'll get to that a little bit later. So with Fluid, you can have multiple browser windows open. Um, for me, for example, uh, my team works on Discord, so I have Discord as one of mine. Uh, we also work off of Google Drive, so I have that open. I have my email open, and I usually like to listen to music as well. So I'll either use Spotify or YouTube Music. To set this up, you would download the Fluid app on your MetaQuest headset. And once you open the app, you'll be able to open uh, several browser windows. I, I believe it's six or seven browser windows that you can have open on the MetaQuest 3 before it starts lagging and crashing out. This is on early access still, and the devs are frequently working on this. So you can expect to see some issues. I will link the app down below in the description in case you want to check it out. Now, when you're working, obviously you're gonna use like a keyboard and a mouse. There is a virtual keyboard in the app, which works okay <laughs> it's not the greatest so what i do is i connect my keyboard via bluetooth so this is what my keyboard looks like and it actually has a trackpad already on here i will also link this keyboard by the way in the description in case you're interested in buying it it does have a mouse trackpad on here already so when i'm using this keyboard with fluid i don't have to use my controllers whatsoever um, i can just use this pretty much this is the Logitech keyboard K830. There is a list of approved keyboards that you can use with MetaQuest, which I'll list here somewhere. So there are other options aside from this if you wanna use something else. Because you can only have a set amount of windows open while using Fluid, it's kind of both a good thing and a bad thing. Bad because obviously sometimes you wanna have a bazillion windows open, but good because it makes you focus. If you can only have a limited amount of windows open, then maybe you will get your task done on whatever window you're using before you move on to a next task. Also, it'll limit you from scrolling on like social media or checking out different websites because you have a limited amount of windows that you can have open while using Fluid for work. There are different environments here as well, along with being able to use pass-through. So for example, if you were like me and like to drink coffee while you work, you can enable pass-through. That way you can have your coffee on your table and see your environment um, without accidentally knocking over your beverage. However, if you did want to be completely shut off from everything around you, you can use different environments. So there is a gray button on the right side that has a little cloud on it. You can click that to go through the different environments. It's kind of nice though, because you know, sometimes you wanna just work somewhere else and not at home. You just a change of environment can really help you focus. Uh, I know some people go to like Airbnbs in a cabin on the mountains or something just to be able to just get some focus in the change of scenery. But now you can do that from the comfort of your own home by just pressing that button and toggling through the different environments. Now with the Quest 2, because it is an older headset now, I've tried using the Quest 2 for uh, for Fluid, but I think I can only open about three windows, maybe four, before it starts crashing. Granted, I always have either YouTube or Spotify playing, so maybe that's part of the reason why I can't have as many windows open. So you can use Fluid on the Quest 2, but the amount of windows and browsers that you can have open is even more limited. Now, if you work in, say, like, you know, the creative field, if you, like, if you edit videos or you make 3D designs or you have to use a lot of, like, apps while working, then Fluid probably isn't for you, so that's one of the limitations. But if you do a lot of work that is more browser-based, which is what I do, so searching on Google, opening different websites, email, most of the stuff that a lot of people use, um, then Fluid works really well. Okay, now here's some tips and tricks that I have to really maximize your productivity and experience with Fluid. Here's some tips and tricks for Fluid. As you saw when mine loaded, it automatically popped open.
windows and put them in the places that I had them last. To do this, you'll need to click settings. To do this, just make sure your windows are open when you close out of Fluid. Now, you'll see here that there's this bar. If you download the app, it actually doesn't look like this right out of the gate. So in order to do this, you would press settings, which pops open this settings folder or the settings shortcut. And what you would actually do is go in here and change them out. So for this one, also, a uh, really big tip, make sure you connect uh, a real keyboard and I'll link this one in the description below because it makes the workflow so much better. Also, mine has a mouse too. So this mouse allows me to not have to pick up my controllers when moving back and forth between windows. Okay, so for this one, we'll do google.com and then we'll just scroll all the way to the bottom and press save and reload scene. And you'll see that this just, and you'll see that this icon just changed. So you should um, use the icons here that you use the most. And actually, we just, my company just switched to ClickUp. So let's change this. ClickUp. Um, now you'll see that this shows ClickUp. By the way, if you, you can grab this, <laughs> you can move this however you want. So if it's like annoying you, just like, you know, put it on the side. Um, oops. Another cool thing is there is this clock and you can move it around. Uh, just with your controller by pressing the grip button. Uh, so I guess if you press, uh, anyway, you can put this clock anywhere you want so that you know what time it is. Um, and then if you press this button in the middle, or if you press that on your right thumbstick, you can open the menu. So this enables pass through. Oops. So now I can see my room and obviously in my coffee, which is important. Now, if you are trying not to use your controller while playing, but still want to enable pass through, you can find it on this settings window. So, okay. And obviously right now my hand tracking is not working with trying to scroll. So we'll just have to, we'll just have to grab here. Oh wait. Okay, here we go. So now we enable hands, I think. Okay, so if you are unable to enable, if you're not trying to use your controller and you're just using um, hand tracking and your mouse, you can go in to click settings, which opens this window and then go down a little bit and there is toggle pass through. So again, toggle pass through, close pass through. Uh, if you're using your Kier mouse and the sensitivity is too fast or too slow, there is a setting here called sensitivity. I actually love really fast mouse sensitivity. Yeah, this is this is my jam right here when I can barely see it because it's moving so fast. <laughs> Otherwise, I go a little crazy. Um, okay, so that's most of the important stuff on the settings. Okay, so you see we have this beautiful scenery. If you do enjoy using um, a nice scenery, this is one of them, and I don't know, that's kind of cool. I just saw that the other day. Um, and here's your cool looking cabin. Uh, it would be cool if these were moving eventually, but man, I know that they're trying so hard to just be able to allow you to open as many windows as you can and like really have a good workflow. I think one of the things that they're working on is actually um, on these windows having different tabs. Right now, like every single window is its own tab uh, and they're currently working on making it so you have multiple tabs here so you don't have a bunch of different windows. So anyway, one thing at a time, but they seem to be really working on this app, which is cool. And hopefully eventually we'll get a lot more um, better scenery that are moving once they keep optimizing this. Okay, so the other thing here, you'll see that you can see my keyboard, which is great, but how do you enable this window? You can press this to turn it off or press it again to turn it back on. You can unlock it if you want to be able to, oops. If you wanna be able to move this window around. Just note that if you have this window, it does kind of hide this, so. Kind of just don't want that block. Maybe I'll just move that up there. All right, so I'll put this here and then I'll lock it. And now it's in place. And to move it around, I'm just pressing this. I'm, I'm grabbing this button and holding it. Um, and you've already seen me tossing this around. This is how you move this um, in different places. So I'll just keep that there so I don't lose sight of it. Um, and then to toggle your virtual keyboard, you'd press that. But I need to turn this off. And then now I can see my virtual keyboard or turn it off. Okay, and then when you have your windows, um, some things you can do is when you go to the corner, you can actually expand it and that's how you can make like a really big window yeah look at that you can make like a tower window we should put my youtube channel 
so you all can subscribe. Okay, here's my channel. Uh, we're really close to 10,000 subscribers, so subscribe. Um, okay, and then, right, so let's take a look at this menu since it's new to me. Uh, if you press it down, what is this? Environment. <gasps> no way. Okay, so now you can see, there's the apartment one? Wait a minute. Hang on. Okay, so this is the cabin. We've been to the cabin before. Okay, now I need to close my YouTube channel. Oh, wow. Well, okay. Well, you learn something every day. I did not realize that you could do this. That is cool. There's a side quest mug. They should make a beer with Jasmine mug in here. Okay, so you can work in an apartment apparently. Okay, I was trying to see if there's any more views here, but I don't know what views you would have. Are any of these working? No, okay. So you can work in an apartment. Um, not my favorite looking apartment, but it's alright. Avoid. It's creepy. Let's try loading something in this void. You can just work in a void so that you're in extreme focus. There's nothing else for you to look at. Uh, you can work on the moon. Mmm, this is really low poly. I mean, it's cool. I get what they're going for. It's not quite there yet. I would not work in this environment. Let's see what other environments are there. And then, of course, pass through. So, yeah, I can see why they make this the home base, because this is the nicest one. <laughs> okay, we're ready. What other things are there? Control mode, which is cool. So now we're, we're in mouse control mode. Um, settings. Give feedback. Enable pass through. <gasps> make a tab? Hang on. Oh, okay. So you can open new windows by just clicking that top button, but they don't have the tab options yet, as you can see, multiple windows. Okay, so that's my tips and tricks, and uh, let me know if you want to know more in the future. If you wear glasses, it can be pretty annoying to use them while working in your headset. So the best solution to not have to use your glasses is to get one of these. So these are prescription lenses by VR Wave. So they're basically these prescription inserts that go into your um, Quest 3 headset, or they also have them available for Quest 2 if you're using that. So pretty much you would go on their website and put in your prescription for your lenses and you'll get these. Um, and you'll get these in the mail. There's a left side and a right side. Um, and you would just pop these into your headset. One of the coolest features on this is that, um, so you would have, you would put this on first and it's magnetic and you would then put on the lenses, which also has magnetic pieces. The cool thing about this is that it is really easy to remove the lenses since it's magnetic. So if you're not the only person using this headset in your household, um, it's pretty easy to remove the prescription lenses so that everyone gets the best view. Uh, I'm going to put a link for this in the description below in case you're interested. It also has anti-glare and blue light filter. Uh, so it's a really good solution if you're someone that wears glasses. So I've been experimenting a lot with the VR and being able to use it for different uses outside of gaming, like productivity and um, brainstorming, literally anything you can think of. So if this was interesting to you, let me know in the comments so that I can make more videos in this like productivity slash work slash focus series. And make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss those videos. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.